Good morning everyone. Get ready for the prayer. Close your eyes and join your hands. is a dangerous disease so to protect ourselves from this viral disease we need to follow the three golden rules you might be knowing these rules but the main thing is that you must implement them in your daily life always wear face cover mask wash your hand frequently and thoroughly with soap and water maintain distance from others at least 6 feet along with these golden rules good health and fitness also play an important role in the present scenario so children how to keep ourselves healthy and fit for this we need to follow the two tips eat healthy food and exercise regularly for food to eat we should eat green vegetables fruits and drink milk and avoid junk food because these types of food reduce our immune system and we are we all know that in this pandemic situation we should enhance our immunity 
Now, for fitness, we should do meditation, pranayama, and yoga asanas. For meditation, we need to sit at a silent place and chant at least 11 times. For pranayama, we do breathing exercises. And in yoga, we can do a lot of asanas to curb many diseases. So eat healthy and keep exercising. Now, choice is yours. You want to be happy and healthy or unhappy and unhealthy. It's time for the thought of the day. For healthy living, think positive, eat better, exercise often and feel good. Let's see what Ridhima has to say about this. here to present a speech on health and fitness. The two very known terms to us, the word health and fitness. Many times we use these words to say phrases like health is wealth and fitness is the key. But what does the word health really mean? It implies the idea of being well. A healthy and fit person is the one when he she can function well physically as well as mentally. Proper health and fitness do not depend on our own but also on our physical environment and the good quality of the food intake. When we are healthy and fit, we are able to enjoy our life well. But when our health and fitness is not up to the mark, we are unable to do anything properly and are left behind. Our mood becomes more negative and we are unable to talk nicely with our near and dear or even eat properly sleep. We must eat a healthy and complete diet. Everyone should make a diet chart and ensure that we take a sufficient amount of carbohydrates, protein, minerals and vitamins. Apart from eating, we must maintain cleanliness in our rooms, house and nearby surroundings. There are many factors that are responsible for staggering health and fitness graph but the major reason is the personal habit and living style of the people. All the junk food are destroying people's health and fitness these days. Due to the fast place life, people are concerned about filling their stomachs rather than considering, considering what they are eating and its effect on their health and body. As we know that health and fitness play an important role in our overall life. Well being so should try for a good balance between mind and body and soul. An active body can metabolize well and so keep us in good shape. Along with that, yoga has got a lot of health and fitness benefits such as flexibility, burnt calories, increased blood flow and boost immunity. As Dalai Lama once said, happiness is the highest form of health. Happiness will only come when we will be healthy and fit. But today, we live in a world where we value things more than people, work more than family, food more than health, and status more than our life. We rush after money and social status, and we forget about our health. This abstract attitude has ruined our lives, and it will continue to do so, unless we open up our eyes and see the reality. Now, Mitali, Deepika, and Bhumi are going to present us yoga asana. 